I found 24 Attack on Titan myths and busted them. These are facts about AOT that people get completely wrong, like the fact that Levi and Mikasa are related. That's right, everybody thinks they're related because they have the same last name. So let me clarify this. Yes, Levi and Mikasa are both descended from the Ackerman clan, but that doesn't mean they're related. Levi and Mikasa can trace their roots all the way up to the original Ackerman family, but they are each so many generations down that they are not closely related at all. Pretty much everybody ships Eren and Mikasa, but there's one thing that many fans get wrong about their romance. You see, it's pretty clear that Mikasa has been in love with Eren since the beginning of the series, but one AOT myth is that Eren was always in love with her too. This is completely wrong. You see, Eren didn't love Mikasa until near the final chapter. Previous to that final chapter, there's absolutely no evidence that Eren loved her back as he was too consumed with his goals to have time for love. I guess you could say the grind never stops. <laughs> and speaking of romance, we gotta talk about this little thing going on between Levi and Petra. See, people commonly believe that Levi and his subordinate Petra were in love, and they believe this for one main reason. When Levi gets back from the scouting trip where Petra died, he's approached by Petra's father. In fact, it sounds like she's utterly devoted to you in every way. So devoted that, well, to be honest, her mother and I are a bit concerned, you see. This trips up so many AOT fans, so let me clarify. This scene only proves that Petra was into Levi, not the other way around. Just like Aaron's situation, there is not a shred of evidence in the entire Attack on Titan series that Levi was into Petra. People are always trying to find plot holes in AOT, and many times they mess up and just come up with a myth instead. Here's the perfect example. Do you remember when Aaron Yeager was eaten by the bearded Titan? A a common myth that stems from this scene is that the bearded titan should have become the attack titan. This is wrong for one main reason. To gain the powers of a titan shifter, you have to literally eat them. In this scene, the bearded titan swallowed Eren whole, which means the power was not transferred. This is probably the only time Eren wished someone wouldn't have swallowed. I'm sure you've wondered what real-life location Paradise Island is based on? Well, there's a popular myth circulating the internet that says Paradise Island is real-world Japan. There's a reason I'm calling this a myth. The AOT map is actually just a real-world map flipped upside down. If you look where Paradise Island actually is, you'll see that it's off the coast of Africa. That's right, Paradise Island is real-world Madagascar. But have you ever heard anybody say that, uh, dude, did you know that the Wall Titans are actually Colossal Titans? Well, this is just another myth. You see, the Wall Titans have two names, Wall Titans and Colossus Titans. Colossus sounds just like Colossal, which is why people think that the Wall Titans are Colossal Titans. There's just one Colossal Titan, and it's a Titan Shifter. If someone asked you if Hanj Zoe is a man or a woman, what would you answer? If you said they were a woman, I'd say you fell for a super common myth. You see, when the writer of AOT created Hanj, he didn't actually give them a gender. They definitely look and sound like a girl in the anime, but in the eyes of the creator, they remain ungendered. How many titans do you think are in the walls? If you're one of the fans who says millions and millions, you're actually mm. wrong. And don't feel bad, because this myth is actually something that I believe too. The reason we all fell for this is because King Fritz threatens to unleash tens of millions of titans sleeping inside the walls. However, there's evidence that he was bluffing. In a book about AOT called The Science of Attack on Titan, the author named Rico makes a very educated guess on the number of titans. Rico says that assuming that each titan is 13 meters wide, there's only enough space in the walls for about 585,000 of them. However, if we assume that Paradise Island is the same size as Madagascar, it's likely the number is even lower. When it comes to myths, one of the biggest out there is that Eren's last name is spelled Jaeger with a J. There's a lot of controversy because in the manga, his last name is spelled Jaeger with a Y. In the anime, it's spelled with a J. And on certain streaming platforms, it's even spelled like this. But once and for all, we can completely bust this myth. You see, to figure out the right way to spell it, I went back to the original way Isayama wrote it, and I can officially confirm that the right way to spell Jaeger is with a Y. One myth that too many people believe in is that Kenny Ackerman is Levi's father. I think this myth was created by people who just didn't pay enough attention to the show. You see, it's stated pretty clearly in the anime that Kenny is Levi's mother's brother. Therefore, that makes Kenny Levi's uncle. If you skipped an episode or two, maybe you assumed Kenny was Levi's father because Kenny took care of young Levi after his mother died. Another myth about Levi is that he is Asian. People get confused about this because of Mikasa. She's part Asian and part Ackerman. Levi, on the other hand, has a mother who is Ackerman and a father who is Eldian. I think people just tend to put the Ackerman clan and the Asian clan in one bucket, but they are two completely different groups. ODM gear is powered by compressed air, right? 
Wrong. This is a myth, and I gotta say the real source of the gear's power is way more interesting. It's actually powered by something called an ice burst crystal. This crystal is a very valuable resource that is mined underground on Paradise Island. You see, there are secret caverns found beneath the walls that were formed by volcanoes. When the volcanoes went extinct, the natural gases within the caverns solidified at high pressures and turned into ice crystals. When the crystals are exposed to temperatures higher than freezing, they rapidly vaporize and release a small burst of energy. This energy is then stored in the canisters on the ODM gear. This next myth is probably one of the worst things someone can believe. You see, people think that they can watch my videos without subscribing and nothing will happen to them. This is a complete myth. If they don't subscribe, I'll turn them into titans and make them eat their own families. So, subscribe now to keep your family safe. Another myth that people believe is that Gabby is evil. This isn't necessarily true. Gabby's a little kid who has been raised by a warrior. When she saw her friends killed and her home destroyed, she responded in the only way she knew how, by fighting back. Here's a myth that bamboozles me. Some people say that Aaron's master plan was good. This is 100% a myth. Aaron's plan was to kill billions of people to save Paradise Island. This is completely evil and honestly not a great idea. I personally would have tried to come up with a less destructive plan. Here's a myth about Aaron's girlfriend, Mikasa. People say that she only cared about Aaron and nobody else, but this is a myth for a reason. There's multiple scenes in the anime that clearly show Mikasa cares about others. When Armin was on the brink of death, Mikasa was crying after finding out that Sasha had died, Mikasa began sobbing as well. This myth only exists because Mikasa is not the type of person to share her emotions. Throughout the entire anime, there's hardly a scene of her being vulnerable. But speaking of emotions, there's another myth saying that Eren was never emotional in AOT. When I see people say this, I'm like, are you kidding? Eren is literally only emotional. Since season 1, his hatred for the Titans has gotten worse. He cried when his mom died. He cried when Hans died. He cried when he learned his dad died. He cried when he got eaten, it seems all this guy does is yell and cry. If you remember, Annie froze herself into a crystal after Aaron beat her up. However, some fans believe that she somehow got unfrozen in season 2. The reason they believe this is because of this scene. Do you know where she is? Being tortured. Here, Armin lies to Berthold to trigger him into fighting them. Armin knew that Berthold had a crush on Annie and lied about her being tortured. Some people didn't catch on to this, which explains why this myth exists. Watching Mikasa and Eren grow more distant in season 4 really hurt. Because of what happens in that season, people tend to think that Eren hates Mikasa. This is just another myth. You see, Eren lied to Mikasa about hating her so that she wouldn't help him with his plan to destroy the world. He knew that Mikasa would literally do anything for him, so he lied to her to make them grow apart. Let's be honest, there's another reason he probably said this. Eren hates the idea of being enslaved to something. He didn't like how Mikasa was a slave to him and was willing to do anything he asked. Some AOT fans like to say that the romance between Mikasa and Eren is weird. Their reasoning is that Mikasa was adopted by the Jaegers and therefore it's a weird sibling romance thingy. But this is a complete myth. Mikasa was never officially adopted by the Jaegers and she kept her last name and called Eren's parents Mr. and Mrs. Jaeger. Speaking of Mikasa, there's a popular myth circulating the internet that an Ackerman bond causes the Ackermans to do whatever their hosts tell them to do. This is an exaggeration on what actually happened. You see, people look at what Mikasa is willing to do for Eren and assume that's what every single Ackerman is willing to do for their host. However, that's not actually how things work. Mikasa is only willing to do anything for Eren because, again, she loves him. A typical Ackerman bond is way less extreme than what's going on between Eren and Mikasa. Myths aren't the only thing I noticed in the anime. I also discovered some crazy hidden foreshadowing. Click this video right here to see the craziest foreshadowing in AOT.